Ah, uh, not good. Not good at all. Run, 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 run. Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is our second episode uh, here in our new Let's Play series. And uh, so it is now morning, as you can see, and I have stoked the fire. Uh, so our very first order of business is go down to the pond, fill up our canteen, and get some kelp. And then after that, it's going to be out and about and gathering as many resources as we can uh, for this next coming day. So one of the things that... Um, that you uh, that we're going to need to do fairly soon in the game is we're going to need to put up what's called a base um, control unit, a BCU, I think it is. And when we do that, it opens up more crafting for us and higher level items, but it also starts a timer to where the hunters will start coming into the world. So I think you have another two days maybe or so after uh, the BCU is in place to to be ready for the hunters when they come in um so we're definitely going to be doing that i might ooh, there's a bear i might not do it today we might wait another one or two more days and just try and get a little bit better foothold nice there's two kelp right there um before we start that process but we'll just see how things go if we get real lucky with you know hunting the, the animals and can keep our food under control because that is still you know by far the hardest thing to manage in the very first part of this game um you know then we might do it a little sooner so we'll just see how things go um the other thing you know that that you need a little bit of luck on too is the crates uh, because the crates have a lot of the things you need like the nails for example uh before you can continue on from there so yeah um it just kind of depends upon the luck of the draw i guess if we get really lucky and re and things go well for us um, then that just means we'll put the BCU up sooner. Okay, so we've got uh, some kelp there, which is great. And what we want to do, you know, because we're not right next to the water, I probably will end up making two canteens. Um, but let's go ahead and fill that up. We'll take it back. Uh, you have to boil it on the fire. Uh, because if you drink it straight up, then, you know, you can get disease, gerardia, dysentery, whatever. It's nasty stuff. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of lumberjack my way back to our cave. And uh, then we'll go from there. Okay, we're back to the cave. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the water on the fire and we're gonna top off the fuel. Ideally, you wanna keep your fire going and not let it go out because then you have to consume another ignition source. But because we do have another ignition source and the ability to make a second ignition source, I'm not really gonna worry about that. Right, we're gonna go as far as we need to go to get the stuff that we need to get. Um, so yeah, we just have to wait for that to boil uh, we're not in bad shape hydration wise but as you can see our protein is also is already starting to tank again um we could try and cook this grub um we'd get four i mean we wouldn't get enough protein to almost even make it worth worthwhile but uh, let's go ahead and drink this now and that uh, gets our hydration up pretty good uh, the problem with eating the, the kelp is that you do lose a little bit of hydration but not a lot so we're really good shape on carbs we're in really good shape on hydration but again it's protein that's um that's causing us some trouble so let's go on out um let's stoke this one last time and we, yeah we need to uh we need to find some critters to eat otherwise we're going to start having problems so that's our number one priority uh for the moment and then of course as usual we will continue gathering uh, resources as we come across them what do I need to make another canteen? I need, uh, oh, we just need two cordages. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that. Let's make two um, so that we can um, just have two of them. And then, you know, whenever we go down to the water, we fill them up twice. If I, I was living right next to the water's edge, I wouldn't worry about it. But, of course, we're not living right next to the water's edge. We're close, though. So let's head back down that way. 
And we're just going to fill the can. There's a bear right there. We're going to fill the canteens now. And that way it's done. And then we don't have to worry about it. We really need to hopefully find some chickens or some more feathers um, in crates uh, today. So, you know, so that we can keep our arrow supply in a good, good place. So let's go around the lake this way. Okay, so both canteens are now full. Um, if we just, I think if we just hit E on them, yeah. If we just hit E on them, they'll fill up. Okay, so we got that done. Now we just need to find protein and crates and keep going after the resources. That's pretty much all you do in the in the early game. I'm not going to get a lot of wood right now. Um, you know, or I'm not going to take the time to get a lot of wood because that's something that we can get near the base. Uh, we want to be looking for the chickens, rabbits, and the drop chests. That waterfall looks really cool over there. And you know, the, the plants that you can pick, like for the fiber and whatnot, and pretty much all of the resources, they just randomly spawn. Um, so, you know, if, if you find a resource in a, you know, a particular spot one day, it's not necessarily at all going to be there the next day, you know, so they just randomly spawn in all kinds of different places. And sometimes so something will spawn right in front of your face. It's kind of funny how that works. I heard, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard that that happens when the, re the response happen when the game does a save. And I maybe it, I, I want to say I heard that it does a save twice a day, but I don't know if that's true or not. Okay, this is the big fat tree that'll give us five pieces of wood and a grub, so let's just hit it while we're here. Okay, very good. Let's move up into this kind of birch looking forest. Oh shit, stay away from the wolf. We will grab that. Grab that plant, and now we have the ability to make two more fire starters if if it comes to it. All right, let's go this way. Uh, these are ores that we, we can gather later. We don't really need them right now, so I'm not going to take the time, inventory space, or waste the energy getting them. But at some point, you know, we're going to want to do that, of course. More fiber plants. All right, so up here, we've got a wolf off to the left and a bear off to the right. We just have to be mindful of those guys. Ah, uh, shoot. I was just about ready to grab that fiber, and there's a do doggone level 3 wolf right there. Oh, there's a rabbit. Okay. Okay, so we got a rabbit. Good, good, good. Um, and, you know, m uh, food and carcasses will spoil after a period of time, so that's another thing. Later on, uh, we'll be able to make a refrigerator. Alright, what's this? Oh, that's a carrot. Nice, okay. Oh man, there's a doggone bear the right up where we need to go. Okay, um let's stay away from him. Okay, there's a chest up here. Let's grab that. I'd like to try and get at least one more chicken or rabbit before we go back and cook them. Oh nice. We got more feathers and another fire starter. Okay, good. So, you know, we're not doing bad really, all things considered. Uh, protein's the worst, you know, where, where we're having the most trouble, but that's normal at this point in the game, I think. So let's kind of start working our way back towards our place, uh, because we have some protein to cook. Plus we can stoke our fire too. Oh, good. There's another rabbit right there. Um, oh no, I think that's it. I don't know if that, it doesn't matter. Rabbit or chicken, we'll take it. 
Guess we gotta wait for it to settle down. Yeah, there he is. He's got his ear sticking up. I want to get a little closer though, because I'm not an expert marksman in this game. So we want to have a good, clear shot. Let's just wait for him to hold still. He's, oh man, he's kind of right behind the crest of the little hill there, so we're going to have to move around this way. Got him. Okay, good. So we have two rabbits. Uh, the rabbits also give you... Um, well, they give you what the game calls cloth. It's really hide, though. Okay, so we found some feathers, so that means we can make some more uh, arrows. Uh, oh, we need nails. Yeah, we've got to find some more nails. Okay. How many arrows do I have right now? I've got two left. Okay, so that's two more animals we can kill. Assuming I can hit them. And that is kind of a big assumption. Is there something up here? No, it's just the way that rock kind of looked. It was very blocky looking like a chest. It looked like it was a chest. Ideal scenario is for us to come, you know, get back home with four carcasses. Um, but we need to start kind of moving back this direction. Once we get our BCU down, it'll actually mark our base on the map, too. But until then, we have to remember where it is. I think it might be over there by those rocks. Not 100% positive. I'm sort of kind of sprinting and not sprinting and sprinting and not sprinting because it's a... You know, it's a... A cross between not spending any as much energy versus time. You know, you're running out of time, kind of thing. Oh, good, we got some nails there, so that means we can make uh, another arrow. Uh, no, two arrows rather. Got to keep those arrows coming because they're our our lifeblood in the early game here. There's a bear there. We want to avoid him. Okay, this must be a different pond. Yeah, this is a different pond. Okay. Interesting. There's a chest up here. I've never seen this pond before. Look at all those beautiful nails, man. Nails are super important. Alright, we have a wolf right there. And a bear right there. Okay, let's go. Let's cross the lake here. If I happen to spot some kelp. Yeah, there is kelp. We might as well grab it. It's food. It's not the food we need right at the moment, but it's food nonetheless. And there's a chest up there, too, that we can get. There's one there. One there. Keep an eye on our O2 here. And there's one there, but we better get some air. Okay, cool. So yeah, we're we're gonna be doing fine on carbs. Let's go grab this chest, and then we need to start working our way back because we're essentially out of protein. So we're going to start having malnourishment issues. Oh, nice. More fire starter. Okay, that's really good. That is really good. So it's not super, super critical that we don't let our, our fire go out, which it might be out by the time we get back anyways because we've gone quite a ways away. But we can afford to to do that because here again we have plenty of ways to restart the fire now all right i didn't really notice where that critter went off to 
So we're just going to kind of keep creeping this way and keep our, our eyes peeled. Is that it right there? Yeah, that is it. Okay, let's get a little closer. And we want to make sure we're never shooting up over a ridge because we always want to be able to recover our arrow if we miss. That was a pretty good shot, though. I mean, that would have been hard to miss. Well, then again, we're talking about me here, so maybe not. Okay, good. So we're going to have a nice little supply of protein when we get back. Right, we just got to get back now to remember how to get home. So remember, I'm not, I, I'm very new to the game. I'm not familiar with the map, really, to speak of. Uh, I'm pretty sure our home's off in this direction, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Uh, come on, bear. We need to go through that way. Let's look at the map here. Oh, our home's way up here. We're down in the south, man. I thought we were up in the north. Okay, well, at least we know we need to go basically northwest. Uh, up in the upper left-hand corner, it, we have a compass. So let's just start going northwest and try and stay on that heading as much as we can uh, without going over that mountain. Yeah, I'm like completely turned around. I I thought I was thinking we were way up in the north somehow, but yeah, I guess I should pay a little more attention to my compass, eh? Hmm, I don't know. We might not be able to get around through here. I mean, you know what? Worst case scenario, or not even worst case scenario, we could just create another fire. It wouldn't be that big of a deal, and eat the food, and then we're then we're in good shape. Why don't we do that? Why don't we just do that? Because otherwise I'm going to run halfway across the map malnourished, and that's just not going to help us out in the long run. So, okay, what do we need to do to make a fire? I wouldn't do this if I didn't have an abundance of fire starting stuff, you know? Um, so let's go here. We need four sticks. And we'll just make the fire. Uh, these, can, these will eventually go bad anyways, and the worst thing to happen is for us to get all the way back and then find that our rabbits had spoiled. That would be... Like, we did it all for nothing kind of thing. And then I'd rage quit at that point. Okay, so, yeah. We gotta be smart about these kinds of things, people. Okay, let's put the fire down right here. The only thing we don't want to have happen is we don't want it to rain. Um. Okay, so let's just put... Um, um, nope. Just one match, please. Split. That in there. Put that in there. Um, ignite the fire. Butcher. Cook. Butcher. Cook. And butcher. Cook. Once these are cooked, we'll put the two water things on and cook those up. Um, let's just eat all of this right now. Uh, well, probably don't need to eat all of them. Yeah, we probably do. Okay, let's just eat all of them. That'll get our carbs damn near all the way topped off. Really close. In fact, we can eat the apple too. And our carbs are pretty much topped off. It's, and we have blueberries left over as well. Okay, so we'll just wait for these to, to get done uh, to medium. They're rare right now. Shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. Eat that. Get this cooking. Eat and eat and get those cooking. Okay, look at that, man. That bumped us up up decent ways. Um, hopefully, we you know we'll come across a few more critters on on the way back. So when we get home tonight, we won't be completely out of protein, and we can, if we're really you know lucky, get it completely topped off. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Okay, so, while we're waiting for the water, um, we might consider making a fish trap, and then we can put that in the pond with a, gru with a couple grubs. I think that would be a good idea, so why don't we plan on doing that? Uh, we're going to need a 
come across more fibers though. Let's drink that and drink this and that gets our hydration completely topped off. Now, can we fill up in the stream? Good. All right, let's just do this now. Uh, so they're ready to go for next time and then we don't have to worry about it. And then we're just gonna let this fire burn down. I probably didn't need to put all the logs on it, but that's okay. Logs are easy enough to come by. While we're waiting, let's just chop a couple more logs. So we're doing something, being productive. And then we're just gonna start working our way back home because it is getting on in the afternoon, I'm sure. I've been out for quite a bit today. The sad thing about it, well, I don't know if it's a sad thing. The interesting thing maybe is the way to say it is we've spent most of our effort today just trying to find some protein. Um, so progression, yeah. It takes, takes a while. We don't want to go up into the snowy mountains because of the cold, and there's also mountain lions up there and other stuff that probably wants to eat us. All right, let's go grab our canteens and then hit the road. Well, we want the ash, too, because we'll need that later on for farming. I don't know if there's a way to put the fire out. Um, oh, yeah, extinguish. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if we ever come back this way, it's got a little fuel in it, and we can reuse it again. Okay, so we need to be going northwest, but that leads right up to the snowy mountains. So, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go back around this way. We don't seem to be having a cold problem right now. Because we're kind of fighting against the clock, um, I'm going to be running. But we're also, you know, we have the energy to, to use some of that now because of all of the good nutrition that we've just received. What was that? Oh, potatoes. Nice. Okay. Very nice. So we still want to be thinking north. There is a chest up there. Let's take a look at our map. So, yeah, we need to get up to here. As far as I know, there's no way to put a marker on the map. Um, there might be. I just don't know if there if there is a way. All right, let's see if we can grab this chest. Hopefully a mountain lion doesn't jump out and eat us. Oh, nice, a protein bar. Yeah, we will take that. Absolutely. You know what, too? Uh, I'm just going to get a bunch of cordages going. Um, you know, let's be crafting some stuff while we're moving around. We do want to see if we can bag a couple more small game before we get all the way back to the base. Ideally. Let's check our position here. Oh, we're actually closer to home than I, I thought we were. That's our pond just right down there. Okay, that's good, though, because now all we really need to do is just hunt around the area and keep gathering resources without worrying about getting home. This is a grub tree up here. Oh, yeah, we wanted to make the fish trap, too, so we're going to try that. I did, you can make a fishing rod and fish like, you know, normal, but it takes a long, long time. I mean, super long time to get a bite. And, uh, I don't know. I think it's a little too, too much for, even for a video game. Because, you know, things still have to be fun, right? If you're spending an entire night trying to get a bite and not even getting a bite I don't see that as as fun gameplay so there you go now you now you know how I feel about it right okay there's a deer but we don't have enough firepower to bring down a deer right now so we're not gonna try it's getting dark come on we need a little more protein for the night game
the sad thing about it is I don't feel like we really made any progress today. <laughs> we just we just subsisted. That's exactly what we did, was we subsisted. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Oh well, what can you do? What can you do? We didn't die, so there's that. You know, that's always a plus. And, um, I mean, we're not in terrible shape, protein-wise. So, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a terrible day. Could have been worse, man. It could have been a lot worse. No, I want to stay away from him. Let's do a, let's go ahead and do a kelp dive. We can at least keep our, our carbs topped off. Well, if we can find any. They might not have repopped yet, I don't know. Here's some. There's some across the way there, too. <laughs> Keeping our eyes peeled for bears and wolves and stuff along the shore that will jump right into the water with us and have no problem chomping down. Come on, out of the water. It'd be sure, sure would be nice to find one more rabbit for the night, though. But we're just about out of daylight here. We've got a... No, that's a big animal. All right, we got to get back. It's getting dark, man. It is getting dark. Hopefully we don't run around the corner and hit a wolf or a bear. That would not be good. No siree. Okay. Where is our cave at? I think it's actually over more over here. So yeah, we need to go. Oh, this isn't good. We let ourselves uh, get out in the stay out in the dark. We know it's just north of the pond, so we really just need to get to the pond and then make sure we're going north. I thought I was, but obviously I was not going in quite the right direction. Okay, I don't even know where that bear's coming from. Aw, oh, shit, he's right there. Okay, let's go this way. I'm going to try and run around the other side of the lake. I have no idea where he's at. Okay, let's look on the map here. Um, we are north of the lake, right? I guess I should have paid a little more attention to that, huh? Yeah, I know I'm cold. It's really hard to see the map at night. I thought we went up in through here. Oh, no, this is where we need to go. Yeah, because this is underneath the land bridge. Okay, so it's really... We're more to the northeast or the northwest of the lake. All right, now we kind of need to know which direction to go in this way, so let's go. Man, I hope we don't run into... Something that's going to try and eat us. The cold is our enemy. Alright, let's look at our map. 
Yeah, it should be just dead ahead here. No, don't say dead. Just say ahead. Oh, shit. Really? Do you have to be right where we need to go? Ah, uh, not good. Not good at all. Run, 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 run. Maybe the wolf and the pig will fight. I'm out of stamina. Son of a bitch. Whew. Okay. We made it up here. I don't think the wolf can get up here. Uh, let's get that in there, get that in there, and get some heat going. Whoo-wee. Okay, we did find the protein bar. Um, let's eat it. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, we'll eat the two kelps. That was close, you guys. Oh, my word, that was close. Um, let's eat the two blueberries, too, because why the hell not? All right, now, the question is, do we have enough to make a chest? We need five boards. Um, hmm, I don't know, man. We need to save this wood to keep the fire going. We might have to wait. Well, we don't need to make a chest right this second. We can wait till morning. That's not a big deal. Whew, okay. That was close. <laughs> that was really close. Um, so, situational awareness, knowing where we are in the map, that sort of thing, kind of important. Uh, but from now on, I will remember that our base is northwest. I see, I was thinking it was north, but no, it's northwest of um, the pond. And the pond's, you know, pretty easy to find on the map. So now we know. All right, you guys. Well, I believe that is it for this episode. Uh, so I'm going to, as usual, just kind of wait out by the fire at night. And then tomorrow we're going to kind of have to just do the same thing, really. Um, I really would like to get to a point where I'm not, you know, 100% of my activity is, is trying to keep the protein from tanking. Uh, and we'll get there eventually. Um, it's just a lot of it's luck, you know. Uh, the, the chest that you run into... If, you have, if the animals that you need are nearby or not, that sort of thing. So we'll just keep hammering away at it, and hopefully, you know, we'll make progress and um, keep enjoying the game. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.